Whether you live in a large city or on a farm in rural America, regardless of your age, race, gender, or socioeconomic background, it is nearly impossible to go through a day without big data impacting your life in some way. The conveniences of online shopping, wearing a smartwatch, or using GPS to get somewhere quickly are all great examples of data being used to help make our lives easier. Part of what's happening out there in society writ large is sort of technological transformation and the rise of artificial intelligence, machine learning is just infusing every aspect of life. But it turns out with the great opportunities with this sort of technology, there's also the challenge of making sure it doesn't replicate existing structures of inequality. Hampshire is a part of a team of researchers from the University of Michigan, backed by the National Science Foundation, that is leading the effort to develop a new framework for responsible data science while establishing an interdisciplinary community focused on developing equitable data systems. It is not just understanding possible inequities that could arise from the use of data science or data-driven decisions, but to go the next step and say, what can we do about it in terms of building systems that can address these potential pitfalls? Information is constantly being gathered about all of us, from our Google searches to our property tax records to social media activity. We might assume that data is being used accurately and fairly, but that's not always the case. You know, because a lot of systems have, are kind of like a black box. So companies, cities are using you know, you just hit a button on a computer and the answer comes out. But you don't really know, can't understand that answer or how the computer got to that point. Or what kind of data is it using to get to the answer? If you collect more and more and more data, but it's still about the same sliver of the population and it doesn't capture anything about other people or their experiences or other kinds of relationships, then you will never ever know anything about what you have no data on. And you have to say, I have this underrepresented group in my sample and I have to do something about this underrepresented group because it is a small minority and if I don't apply sufficient algorithmic protections, then their voice will be drowned out. Establishing, recording, then sharing a common set of required information about each data set will go a long way toward helping people understand the data they are using. This project is about creating those, those standards, that information package, um, which we describe as a nutritional label for data, but another way to think about it as an information package that describes the data. Hampshire believes the University of Michigan is built to solve today's data science and equity problems in a way the world will understand. The world doesn't have this notion of disciplines, bro. Right? The world, people live their lives without you know regard of what a discipline is. So when you work on real problems, then it sort of naturally creates this interdisciplinary. So I think that's part of the approach, to work on real problems for real people that matter.